Hello out there everyone. Today I'm going to be reviewing 1985's To Live and Die in LA, directed by William Friedkin and lensed by none other than Robbie Mueller, who is probably one of the best cinematographers who have who's ever um, lensed feature films. He's simply a phenomenal um, cinematographer worthy of watching really anything he does. But apart from that, it's also, of course, directed by William Friedkin and has a great cast that includes uh, William L. Peterson, who, of course, became later known as Mr. CSI, uh, Willem Dafoe, John Pankow, Deborah Foyer, John Turturro, uh, looks like Darlene Flugel, and, of course, the late, great Dean Stockwell. May he rest in peace. This flick is uh, is fabulous. It's uh, It looks amazing it's it's got a a very uh distinctive look that just fits right in with that mid 80s epoch and i would argue influenced um certainly later films of its ilk namely heat by michael mann uh this film just really holds up and it has one of the most harrowing car chase sequences uh, this side of the French Connection, which also just happened to be directed by Freakin as well. Um, I recently rewatched this on this Blu-ray disc, and I was really blown away by just how well it holds up. Of course, the soundtrack is um, was recorded by Wang Chung, and they, have, of course, had that feature. Uh, the title song was, uh, I believe, a top 40 hit, but it has just a really nice score to it. It's uh, it's just a great film. It holds up. Willem Dafoe is fantastic in it. And without giving away too many plot details, it's essentially a story about counterfeiters. And what's interesting is that apparently the production team did an amazing amount of homework on how to do it. And they actually basically show how to counterfeit money, rather, um, at least back in the mid-'80s. Um, Nowadays, it's much more difficult to do the things that they did in this film, but apparently the Secret Service took notice of what they were doing and actually required them to produce all of the counterfeit bills they produced for the film. And there's a funny commentary in there where I believe the director even admits that some of those counterfeit bills that were created for the film might have actually found their way into circulation. Uh, through the crew. <laughs> so in any case, just uh, give this one a watch if you've not already. And if you have seen it, uh, revisit it. It's certainly worth uh, multiple viewings. Willem Dafoe in particular, just he's a standout. He's so good in this. And of course, William Peterson does a great job as the cop um, pursuing him. So this DVD, apparently it has a um, several deleted scenes and an alternate ending um, it also has a really interesting documentary about how they, you know, basically unpack the counterfeiting world and how they made counterfeit bills um, in, for the purpose of the film. Uh, and again, it has that audio commentary by director William Friedkin. So I would just say seek this one out. It's definitely a film from that decade that is worthy of being on your shelf and revisiting from time to time. So thank you, everyone. Take care, and until the next time.